Hey guys, good evening. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm just gonna wait a few moments for people to pop on. Let's see. Um, so I'm just gonna preface this by saying I turn comments off so I don't get distracted and then I'll go back. If you have questions or comments, please put them down there. And if I don't answer them during the live, I'll definitely get back to you as soon as the live's over. Um, yeah, I have a squirrel brain, and so I'm super easily distracted. Oh, I got my butter here, got my raw chicken here. So today I'm gonna um, demonstrate the Safe Haven 5. I'm gonna start with those products and maybe talk about a couple more, but my goal here is to do this in 30 minutes or less, so I am going to go ahead and get started. Um, thank you for coming. I am so grateful that you decided to invest a little bit of time to learn a newer, safer, and um, quicker way to clean your house. Uh, Norwex's mission is to radically reduce harmful chemicals in the home and also through personal care products. And so my name is Jen Bender. I've been a consultant for seven and a half years and I feel ultra passionate about eliminating chemicals because they have affected my family's health and we've seen dramatic improvements in our health since making switches um, through our food, through the way that we clean and also like our personal care products. So. I live in Butler, Pennsylvania. Um, this is uh, was not my original career. I was a nurse and then I became a special education teacher here in Butler. And so um, I never imagined that I would be doing this here seven and a half years later, but here I am. It's the best job I've ever had. And I just love educating people about Norwex. So I'm gonna talk about the Safe Haven 5. These five products can totally change the way that you clean. Um, I basically call it the easy button, the Norwex easy button. You can eliminate most of the cleaners from underneath your kitchen counter with these five products I'm going to talk about today. And so the first one is the Enviro cloth. So this is like Norwex's all purpose cloth. This is what I use to clean everything. And I just grabbed this out of my kitchen. So you can see it's not um, fresh and clean, but it still works just as well. Um, you only have to wash Norwex about every seven to 10 days. And um, I'm gonna explain this why here in one second. This cloth is what I would use to clean everything. My counters, floors, sinks, toilets, spills, my hands, um, appliances, anything you would have grabbed an all-purpose cleaning cloth and a spray, um, grab this instead. And so this cloth is guaranteed to remove 99% of whatever's on a surface by just using water and the microfiber. The second, um, the one thing that makes this different, there's three things that make it totally different than anything on the market, but one is the size of the fibers of this cloth. So if you were to unravel this from fiber to fiber, this cloth, it actually reaches from Canada to the Gulf of Mexico. So over 10 million feet of fiber, super dense, tightly woven, um, condensed into this small little cloth. The second thing that sets it apart is the size of the fiber. So for something to be considered a microfiber, it has to be one sixth the size of a human hair where each one of Norwex's is at least one two hundredth. So they are literally microscopic, teeny, teeny, tiny. It allows them to get into the cracks and the grooves and the crevices of all kinds of surfaces, even porous surfaces. And then the third thing that sets it apart is this, all of our Norwex cloths come with this cute little tag and it will tell you what it is. E, just remember, E and Viro, everything. Like I use it for everything. And this little word above the word Norwex, which Norwex actually stands for um, the Norwegian experience. Um, it's a Norway based company. It started about 29 years ago and it's been in the US for I believe 13 years now. So anyway, the third thing that sets it apart is this little word above the word Norwex. And this is probably backwards for you but it says Backlock. And so Backlock is our patented name for micro silver that's embedded in the cloth during the manufacturing process. So if you're familiar with um, silver, silver is a natural antibacterial and antimicrobial. So whatever you're picking up in this cloth, these little tiny fibers are grabbing it. It's getting stuck in here because it's so densely woven, coming in contact with the silver and then this silver actually doesn't allow mold, mildew, bacteria to multiply and divide. So your cloth doesn't get stinky, it purifies itself every single day and that allows you to wash it a lot less than a regular old cleaning rag. So I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna put this up to some raw chicken and um, 
Anyway, I'm going to use the tag side just so you can see. I'm going to do my demo. Let me move this down a bit on the Norwex cutting board. So this cutting board is porous. It's made out of rice husks. I love this cutting board. This is the mini size. It's the smallest one that we have. But this little well catches all the juices, whatever you're chopping. This little silicone, um, I don't know what you'd call it, thing <laughs> doesn't allow it to slip on the surface that you're cutting on. And then this little uh, hole allows you to hang it like on a hook inside your cabinet so it doesn't take up any space. So I am going to sh get some raw chicken in my little cup here. And I am going to, oh, it's still a little bit frozen. I freeze these in individual things. But anyway, I, I think it's defrosted enough to at least make this a good little demo. Okay, I'm gonna wipe my fingers on the cloth. And I have these protein swabs. And now you can see that the um, board is definitely wet. <laughs> these swabs they use in the restaurant indus industry to check the safety of a surface. And so green means clean. And all these other colors mean that there's protein detected. And you don't want protein because protein are the things that grow into what would make us sick, like salmonella, E. coli. So if there's no protein, then those other things cannot occur. So I'm gonna swab this up and we know it's gonna turn purple or gray because we can see all the chicken juice on our board here. And immediately, as soon as it touches, it turned purple. Purple is no bueno, we don't want purple. So I'm going to take our Norwex cloth wet with water, same cloth I've been using for probably two or three days in my kitchen. And I'm just gonna wipe the board, not any harder than I would any other, um, like with any other cleaning product. But, and then I'm gonna take my new swab and re-swab it. And just show you that there's no chicken proteins left on the board. It stays green. I'm gonna see the difference. And so if you're skeptical like me, I thought that my friend that came to do the party brought a trick swab. She wasn't my friend yet. And so I'll just touch the chicken so you can see that when it does touch chicken, it does react. So it's not a trick swab. It's turning gray, but kind of slowly there. You can see the purple in there now. So that's how I clean. It removes 99% of whatever you're cleaning up and you just use water. So if you're near running water, if you're in your kitchen, which I clearly am not, but if I was in my kitchen, I'd use really warm water, some friction that helps release what it's holding on to, and then you can just keep on using it. And you want this cloth to be able to fully dry at least once. I'm sorry, my nose is so itchy. My allergies have been killing me this week. Um, you want this cloth to be able to fully dry at least once a week because, or once a day, rather. It should be wet all day long, and you want it to dry overnight. Like I give it a good rinse before I go to bed. Friction, hot water wring it out, hang it over your faucet or hang it by the tag. And the drying process is what helps the silver um, activate and it goes to town purifying whatever it picked up throughout the day. So that's the Enviro cloth, the everything cloth. I call it um, Bert, we call them Bert and Ernie too, which is kind of funny because I'm gonna show you Ernie. Now, this is a really dirty mirror. You can see what's going on behind the scenes over here too, all of our my Norwex products I'm getting ready to show you. And I am going to smear some butter on this mirror there. And so if you were to use paper towels and Windex, you would be here forever trying to clean this. And so simply what I'm going to do is use my wet and viral cloth or Burt. Burt removes the dirt, I always tell people. And then I'm gonna dry it with this dry window or what I like to call the polishing cloth. And you just, this is the first time this mirror's been used actually. Ta-da! Totally streak-free. You can see there are, let me move this mirror a little, or see, no streaks. Awesome, right? And so you use this window cloth completely dry um, so the um, Enviro cloth wet and then the window cloth dry. And you can do this on anything like stainless steel, granite, quartz, anything with a high gloss finish. Even like porcelain sinks and um, toilets. My sister's house 
um, went on the market this week or today actually and we were I was like polishing up her toilet tanks with this cloth anything that you can make sparkle this will make sparkle anything you can clean this will get clean so um, all of our microfiber if it has that silver in it will say backlock above the word Norwex so the window cloth has the backlock in it as well it's great for cars too <clears throat> And then the third um, piece of the Safe Haven 5 is this dust mitt. So this dust mitt you can use dry for dusting. You just rub it against itself and everything comes in lots of different colors. Um, I know this isn't like the best color scheme I've got going on right now, but anyway, you just go really lightly over the surface of whatever you're dusting. I could probably do a great demo on my printer right here. So rub it up, especially like on a humid day. Um, I could probably do my whole stinking desk. I don't know if you can see the dust stuck in there. It's kind of wasn't as dusty as I thought. But anyway, you would take this outside, rubber brush it out. The dust will stay outside. And you can also, my favorite way to use this is fully wet it under the sink, get it really wet, and do your window screens. And it will actually do the inside and the outside of your window screens at the same time because that long pile will get into the holes of the screen. So this also has backlock doesn't need washed as often as whatever you're cleaning with now. So that those three cloths are the first and only three pieces of the Safe Haven 5. And then you get two specialty cleaners. But it's also, I'm so sorry, my nose is itchy. It's also um, the household package, those three cloths. And I clean over 90% of my house with the Enviro window and dust mitt. So the uh, fourth thing of the Safe Haven 5 is Norwex cleaning paste. Let's open this up. Mine's a little bit crumbled, just a little bit, but it's supposed to look like this. It's a really hard puck. If you can hear that. Take a wet cloth or a wet sponge and use it anywhere you would use a magic eraser. Um, think soap scum, rust stains, cleaning um, your tennis shoes or flip-flops. I have got lots of scuff marks off my baseboards from my vacuum or even scuff marks on my painted walls. Always check in an inconspicuous area, but this this thing is gonna last you years and years. I just threw away my first tub, like for my personal use for my house, and it is probably seven years old. In the Norwex world, we make a joke and say you'll pass it down in your inheritance. So that's the cleaning paste, lasts forever. Very multi-purpose, um, multi-faceted uses, tons of uses if you Google um, cleaning paste. And then the last piece of the Safe Haven 5 is my number one seller. This is what I sell the most of year after year, um, the Norwex Ultra Power Plus Laundry Detergent. Now this is as free and clear as you're going to find. Um, it's so free and clear, in fact, that you only have to use a teaspoon for a high efficiency load or a tablespoon for a regular load. Um, there's no extra fillers, additives, bleaches, um, optical brighteners, no animal testing, uh, no sulfates, phosphates, no fragrance. Free and clear, free and clear. This is going to be the best detergent for your cloths. It's not totally required, but I will tell you I've been using some of the same cloths for seven years and they still pass that Norwex chicken demo. So, um, and all I've ever used on them is this. So, you're probably wondering um, how to wash your microfiber. So, wash in the washer, dry in the dryer. No bleach, no fabric softener. Bleach will um, break down the fibers, fabric softener will coat them. And so, They'll still clean really well, but it'll kind of like suffocate the silver. So then the silver won't be able to do its job. So use a free and clear detergent. Um, like I said, Norwex is best and um, avoid linty loads like high lint, brand new cotton towels or a brand new sweatshirt or sweater because that's so densely woven. If it gets lint in it, you're going to be so upset because it's really going to hold on to it. And so um, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I do Norwex is because I just always thought that if things were sold at the store, that they were safe enough, um, that they couldn't sell me something that wasn't good for my health. And that's really not the case. And I'm just really urging you to do your own research. Even if you don't buy Norwex laundry detergent or um, any Norwex at all, really, um, just do some research on the dangers of um, different cleaning products. Because women that work in the homes or clean homes are so much more likely to get cancer. Um, there's tons of fertility problems out there. They, they are linking to these fragrances and artificial chemicals. Um, there's just asthma, allergies, all kinds of things that are linked. And so whatever you're washing your clothes in is your biggest chemical exposure because 
it's getting stuck in the fibers of your clothing and then it touches your skin. And so everything that's touching your skin is going through your body um, within seconds, really. So just be really picky about what you're washing your clothes with. And please don't use fabric softener. It's the most toxic thing in your home. Um, I use wool dryer balls. Aren't these the cutest? I'm so sorry. My nose is so itchy. I need to, I don't know. My son and I have been suffering all week from something. Anyway, these come in a pack of three. There's plain ones too, but I just think these are adorable. You put all three in at the same time, cuts down on your drying time, so your energy bill goes down, but it also keeps your clothes um, fluffed up and soft. But truly, if you're using a detergent like Norwex, um, this is a Norwex sample, it is not going to make your clothes stiff and staticky. It's this stuff in the leading detergents that cause the stiffness and static in the need for fabric softener. So these chemical companies are dummies. They create these detergents that make your clothes nasty and then you have to counteract them with their other chemical the fabric softener and so they they've got us on two so if you just use something super free and clear you don't need fabric softener your clothes are naturally soft that was something that i just was totally shocked about whenever i first started doing norwex so that's the safe haven five guys my five favorite top products i'm going to talk about Two more products that I personally don't ever want to live without, and that's the Norwex Mop System, which I don't have it hooked up correctly right now because the rubber broom is part of the hostess, hostess rewards this month. Anyway, um, it comes in two parts. There is a wet pad, the base, and the handle. And then it also comes with a dry pad. And so you can keep track, just remember, yellow, sun, dry, blue, water, wet. And so I would, this is how I do my floors, you just stick it to the, my, or the Velcro pad like this. I offset mine just a tad so I can flip it up and get closer to the baseboards. But this is, um, <clears throat> what's it called? Ergonomic. So you want it to be about at your nose level to be good for your back. So this whole thing goes up and down, twist the whole thing, lock it. And whenever I'm doing my, whoops, when I'm doing my floors, I want to do a little figure eight pattern. And this is going to be a great demo because my floors are kind of gross down here. I typically do my demos in my kitchen, but as my kids get older, they stay up later. <laughs> it cuts in my party time. So anyway, I made myself a little new space, hence the new mirror. So you can see, can you see? All the dirt and hair are stuck on here. This would replace your Swiffer. Take it outside, just rubber brush it right off, and then you're ready for your wet pad. So if you notice whenever I was doing the figure eights, if you're doing figure eights, you're going to have a um, bunch of dust and dirt right at the front lip of your mop. You can either leave it there and just pick it up with your wet enviro cloth and shake it outside or um, while the mop's still down there you can just swipe it with the enviro cloth <laughs> and then that comes off and then you put the wet pad on which where did i put it right here so you can either fully wet this stick it on there and scrub your floors or if you have real hardwood and you don't want it to get that wet you can simply put this on dry and um, spritz your floor with a water bottle. And another little handy feature of this mop is, so when you're mopping, you want it to be swiveling like this, so you can do those figure eights. But if you wanna dust and wash your walls, there's a little clip here, you just clip it up, and then it can't swivel, and that's how you dust and wash your walls too. So that mop system, I must tell you, is part of the Hostess Rewards next month. If anybody would like to have either a virtual or in-person get together. I guess that I live in Western Pennsylvania. Um, this rubber brush comes in so handy with that mop system to clean off that dry pad. The last thing that I wanna to talk to you about is the Norwex body cloth. And so anybody that books a party with me will get one of these in their hostess, or hostess packet from me. But this is how I wash my body, how I remove my makeup, and also um, has totally replaced my need for shaving cream. So 
you wet the cloth to remove your makeup, get it pretty darn wet, warm water, and if you wear waterproof mascara, just let it sit, wipe, 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 and then rinse it off with that friction in hot water, wring it out, and the more you wring this cloth out, the more exfoliating it's going to be, so you can then exfoliate. If you take it to the shower, just use water in this to wash your body. You can also um, wet it, wring it out, and rub it up and down on your legs. It exfoliates them, pulls the hair up out of the pore, and then you just use water and a razor to shave afterwards. It gets it closer, eliminates razor burn, um, ingrown hairs, it's amazing. So this cloth alone replaces makeup remover, face wash, body wash, and my shaving cream. So um, these are great, they come in a three pack. The silver can be therapeutic. I can't make medical claims, but I know lots of people that it's helped their skin. So anyway, I would love to help you earn some of this or all of this for free. I really appreciate you joining me tonight and I'm going to go back and catch up on all the comments. Just keep putting your questions in the comments and I will um, be checking back to see if there's anything that I can help you with. I hope you all have a great night and thank you so much. Bye.